school last night. What happened? Oh, wow. got food, what, virus, something, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all, God, I'm all, let's go see who's leaving. Let's go see who's home. Oh my gosh. Well, it is good to see y'all again. I'm glad I was here. You always didn't have anything better to do today? I'm, I'm really glad I was here. <laughs> yes, we did, but I'm going to tell you about all that. Let, let everybody get up here real quick. Oh, my goodness. Let me get you to hold that. Okay. Surprise. Did you not ever come in? Oh, <laughs> no. He dressed up for you. You tell by your shoes he's got on. Do you know your neighbors very well? But they they just keep looking. I know. know. They're, yeah. Are they good neighbors They're or just neighbors good, you can look out at a distance? Yeah. Y'all can come on over here if you want. <laughs> We're waiting on you. She oh looks my behind. Goodness gracious. <laughs> So where were y'all going? Oh y'all. Were just, I wasn't going anywhere. He wasn't going anywhere. Well, I hope not. I... <laughs> <laughs> going for a walk. We were going on a best friend. Right. Yeah, we were going oh, she's your best friend. Well, okay, we'll stand over there. She's your best yeah. friend. Okay. These are some of my best friends, too, by the way. I... So here's the deal. We, we came here in January yeah. and saw James off to going to Hawaii, I believe, is where he went, right? And Susan, of course, is here. She's the one that sent him off. I didn't get the, I was out of town that day and I couldn't be here. But what we're out doing today is it's so important that every year, and you probably got an email back on this uh, last year because of when we actually honored him. But the Calvary has an anniversary every year. And that anniversary is very important for you, and you, and everyone you know to be there. It's, it's kind of a, re-honoring of those families that we've honored not only in the past year but there's a lot of different things that take place that day so we really try to stress to our our families because you're part of our family so we try to stress to you guys come and be a part of it spend a couple hours being patriotic and be a part of that right so one of the things we didn't do when we were here to send james off because we didn't have one at the time and now i'm going to take that from you we wanted to get him a certificate of appreciation from us. And that's what we're out doing today. We're out delivering these things to different families throughout the county, okay? So I'm gonna read this to you. This is the certificate of appreciation from Brazoria County Calvary. This is in thanks to supporting our American heroes as your son. Military, law enforcement, firefighters, and EMTs. This certificate is presented to U.S. Navy James Presley. And if you don't mind, I'm going to give that to you. And would you make sure that you get that to him? You would? Yeah. Would you do it today? I wish you could. Do it today. I wish you could. Too. <laughs> Donald Trump was kind enough to loan his jet for us to get him here to the hospital yesterday after being food poisoning. Okay, so there's a lot. Okay, so come here, Hannah. I actually already know Hannah. Y'all stand up here. And obviously, obviously the disguise worked, James. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to let Hannah talk I was to you. So worried. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, this is your best friend, so now I'm going to let her talk to you. I don't know that you'll still be best friend. So, um, I've been lying to you like for two weeks. Patrick emailed me. That's why Shelly's working at the gates. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And... <laughs> Yeah, so John and Christian kept emailing me, is he still coming? She's so mad, and that's why I kept telling you, we're going to have so much fun. <laughs> so I'm sorry for lying, because I'm not very good at it, but I knew you'd be so happy. So, Patrick, come. 
Hey, everybody give Hannah a big round of applause. Give me that nice to you. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. So again, you'll definitely want to be there at the anniversary. That was that was actually a true statement there. And on that clipboard is that. Uh, let me get this. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Pull that out. Here you go, man. Here's your own. Here's your certificate or invitation trying to get you to come to the anniversary. So look, lots of lies. You were scheduled to work today too, just so you know. And that that all had to change. I think Hannah called your boss and everything else. And uh, I was so mad. I know. You're still mad? Are, are you over it? Oh, and by the way, your friend's day out. Hey, that was all crap. That's <laughs> your day. Did you know that? No. <laughs> <laughs> your day out with your son. I have suspicion, so. but I didn't know. <laughs> well, listen, I'm, I'm going to actually let you say a few words. Here you go. Thank you because he had to work. He got called into work. And thank you. He doesn't know when he'll be able to. Mm -hmm. If he'll be able to. I'm sorry, honey. It's all ready. Whoopsie, girl. Well, I didn't see that. I know. I uh, saw it since you put the first one down. <laughs> and he spread them it out. Wasn't my, uh, it wasn't my deal. Robert Thomas, uh, when he was really little, he probably laid it all didn't, over it. It didn't, it didn't matter whose birthday it was. Oh. If they weren't quick, he blew when they said that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he blew all the candy. Why waste the birthday with? So, well, well, uh, the video one year we bought the one sitting away. Yeah. And he had a glass. He blows it, he blows it. What? <laughs> okay, I've only got a couple more candles to light, so y'all need to be ready. What are we timing out? What are you saying? He wants to see everybody in the family. Is that what he wants to do? Turn it over. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Schmashika. Happy birthday to you. Yay! How are you? How old are you now? How old are you? I can't get him on Skype when he's in the front yard. <laughs> Jessica, is this the best birthday ever? Yes. <laughs> He's at work, baby. Working on you. <laughs> Working on you. 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 Working on you.
I think we're going to try to do this about uh, two months ago. Before Christmas. Yeah, and, oh yeah, by the way, I got your cards and uh, they were great. And I appreciate that. Uh, anyway, we were going to do this about two months ago before Christmas and uh, for whatever reason, time and all didn't. It didn't work out. So, we kind of concocted this little plan to uh, shock these two, and then I got three more we're going to shock tonight. So, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what I do, and then I'll just kind of open it up for questions. And some things I might be able to answer, some things I might not be able to tell you. Uh, this was my third tour. And uh, first two was in Iraq. And then this, this one that I'm on now, uh, I'm at what I call the tan candy land because uh, I don't have to worry about getting shot. Uh, I go to work from 8 to, from 08 to about 1700, 1800 every day. And uh, I'm the S4 logistics officer for our, uh, for our group. Uh, I'm part of the 1108 TASM G Theater Aviation Sustainable Maintenance Group. And what our guys do is they provide aviation maintenance to the theater. We are a theater asset. And honestly, uh, I'm a major, and I'm, I'm actually like a private first class over there because there's a major running out the wazoo. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was sitting in the uh, chow hall, I guess it was Thursday, and I counted 49 06s. And an 06 is a full bird term, 49 of them. And that, that just don't happen very often. But uh, where I sit, I actually work for a full bird colonel, and he works for a one-star general. But uh, so we've got a sail in Kuwait. There's about uh, 77 of us in Kuwait. No, I'm sorry, 85 of us in Kuwait and 77 in Afghanistan. And uh, told my wife, Naomi, yesterday, when I get back, I'll be home for two weeks, and then I'm going to make a trip to Afghanistan and do a battlefield circulation to the three detachments that we have there. And what my job is, is again, our guys do theater aviation sustainment on helicopters. All models. The Black Hawk, the Chinook, the Apache, the Kyle Warrior. And, uh, but <clears throat> we are a theater, um, theater asset, <coughs> meaning that Colonel Berry, who works for General Adu, who is the AMC, Army Material Command, Southwest Asia Commander, when she tells him, I need this, our boys jump. And that's what we do. Uh, I've never been at the level that I'm at now. I've got, uh, I've got... The Waller family loves attending sporting events, but this time it's bittersweet because the family's biggest fan, Dad, isn't there. He's serving our country in Kosovo right now. And what's been the hardest part to not have him around the last few months? Well, I'm just getting used to not being able to give him a hug. This is the first Christmas the Lawler girls will spend without their dad. I really don't like it. And I wish he could just come home for the holidays. All I want for Christmas is to have him come back. What the girls don't know is that they're getting a gift early, but it won't fit underneath the tree. Dad, Sergeant Thomas Lawler, is home on leave. We're trying to make it pretty memorable for the, the kids. This is the first time I've been deployed overseas. He hasn't seen his family in more than three months. I'm ecstatic to be here right now. But upon his arrival at tonight's big bobcat game, his kids have no idea he's only feet away. Are you nervous? nervous. <laughs> Very nervous. He spends the first period of the game incognito, uh, getting ready school. for the big reveal. Okay. Is that too tight? Nope. Now, it's showtime. If you had a chance to make one Christmas wish come true, what would it be? Um, for my dad to come home. You would like for your dad to come home for Christmas? And did you wish really hard? You think we could maybe make that happen? What do you think? Bully, can you help us? I love you guys. Love you guys. 
a wish come true for one family, reminding all of us the true meaning of Christmas. So shocked, but it's the best Christmas ever now. It's the best Christmas present I've ever had. With KX News, I'm Megan Lowry. It's a big setup happening all around eight-year-old Elijah Murray Howard. He has no clue. He thinks that another student in another class is being honored. <laughs> he thinks his mom, private first class Joanne Murray, is in Kuwait, where she's been deployed for nearly a year. But she's here, ready to pull off a real surprise during a fake assembly. He's going to think for about five seconds that you send a video message. Okay. And then you're going to appear. Okay. At this point, Elijah stands with his teacher and thinks a special video message is about to play as soon as some technical difficulties are ironed out. And then this. All right, second grade, we are so lucky that Miss Erica is here to help us. Miss Elijah, I know you're dying to see this special announcement. Miss Erica, can you come help us, please? Where is he? What were you thinking in there before she showed up? Uh, I thought the match was going to be on the TV. Uh huh. Do you think it was for me? <laughs> I don't know. When I saw him, it's just, I missed him so much. He knows that his mom is, is doing a service to the country, and um, he knows why she's over there. And so he's, he's happy about that. He's more proud, if anything. Pride and a big surprise worth another look. Representing the United States in the Winter Olympics, Joey is the Olympic speed skating gold medalist. Moving up in here today. But Joey has a very special message he would like to share with all of us fans and with his mom. I hope everyone is having an awesome 4th of July with the Hoppers. I know my mom is down on the field and I wish I could be there with her to help celebrate, but I'm so excited to keep working on projects that give everyone the chance to excel. I'd like to send a special thank you to all the men and women who are serving far from home on this day of American independence. Our hearts and our thoughts are with you. We wish you could be here as well. To everyone else, have an awesome 4th of July. Be careful with those fireworks. Thank you, gentlemen. Jim McCheek, ladies and gentlemen. Also on the field, we are honored to have the family of Airman First Class Callie McGee. The McGee family makes it a tradition to celebrate Independence Day with the Grasshoppers. Unfortunately, their daughter Callie is serving overseas and could not be here today, but she has some words she would like to share with her family. Hey everyone, happy 4th of July. I want to give a shout out to all my brothers and sisters out there who have served and are still serving in service and also to the families who support all of us, and especially my family, that I haven't seen in a really long time. And, yeah, might as well do that now.
Ladies and gentlemen, the McKees hail from Denton, North Carolina, and Callie just got home yesterday. Finally tonight, a heartwarming homecoming. Marine Staff Sergeant Mike Epperson came home from Iraq last week. His two daughters attend St. Mary's School in Cardin, Ohio, and the school adopted his Marine unit, sending packages and letters through the year. So the sergeant went to visit the school to say thanks. But for his two daughters, Caitlin and Kaylee, it was a surprise. They didn't know he'd come home. So at a school assembly, the principal, Sister Sandy, she's called, Come on in. opened the door, and Sergeant Epperson simply walked in. It took his daughters a moment to realize who was there, and after that, well, no words are needed. Hey, I'm home, okay? I'm home, man. Yeah, I'm probably going to cry, so I apologize. I haven't seen him in, in almost eight months, and I'm glad I'll be home. All of your warm uh, care packages, boxes, and letters like that got out to all the Marines there. Every one of them said thank you. Every one of them, all those three-by-five cards that you made me, I read every one of those, every single one. And then Caitlin and Kaylee took him to meet their classes. Have you all been good? Yeah. Yeah. Caitlin's class sang the anthem. And the emotion of the moment overcame her. And overcame her dad as well. Welcome home, Sergeant. Nice to have you back. That's our special edition of World News for this Monday. I'm Charlie Gibson, and I hope you've had a good day. For all of us at ABC News. Afghanistan for about nine months, and uh, my parents and pretty much everybody else I know thinks I'm still in Afghanistan. 
I'm not. I'm in America. So America. Work freedom. Yeah, that's right, America. So I just want to tell you guys that I am back home. And I'm also surprising my parents and a whole bunch of other people tonight. But I would like for you to turn to your neighbor and ask, do you wish that Seth Field were here tonight, back from Afghanistan? Please turn around and look. Sergeant Seth Field, back from Afghanistan.